Hi, you guys. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about GitHub and I'm going to be doing one of my homework assignments, which is learning more about Git um, and GitHub. So GitHub is an internet hosting service for software development and version control using Git. It provides the distributed version control of Git plus access control, bug tracking, software feature requests. Basically, okay, GitHub, I know, is a place where um, you would push your code from Git to show people how you've coded a website. So your code is out there to see. So you might show somebody your website and they can see it, but how did you actually code that up? And they can see that on GitHub. Anybody can look at how you actually did that. And it's very important to understand how to use this because when you go on interviews, Yes, your portfolio and things of that nature might be nice, but how did you actually code it? Did you use best practices? Were you being um, neat in your code? Um, did you use the right kind of code? So, because we all know that there's different ways to code things. So um, it's really important that when you're coding, you do the best practices and note taking and all of these different things so that when you push your code to GitHub and employers see this, that they can see something that you're proud of, you know? So, all right. So this is actually the pro version of Code Academy. Um, now that you've had more practice with Git workflow, let's solidify your skills even more. In this project, you will be working on assembly instructions for SnapFit Robots, Inc., a built-in yourself robot company. If you get stuck during this project or would like to see an experienced developer work through it, click on Get Unstuck. All right. Something went wrong? Huh. Hold on, you guys. All right, so I have to log back in. Um, looks like there's 11 tasks to do. Okay, so the first task is initialize a new Git project, and we're going to do Git init. Check the status of the Git project. You can see multiple files listed in the output as untracked. So that would be Git status. Add each file to Git to the Git staging area. You know what? This is crazy, but I have not done this in one day and I'm already forgetting. Um, but this one is going to be, this one's going to be git add. So we're going to do all of them. Git add disclaimer dot text. Git add instructions dot text. Git add warranty dot text. Check the status of the Git project again. So now we're just trying to see, did we really add that stuff? Yeah, we did because now it says new file. So you see how before it was red and now it's green. So um, for those that don't know, what we're doing here is we are adding files to our repository so that we're getting ready to push all of these files to Git Hub so that we have this information all that we've coded and we're, we're taking one file at a time and we're pushing it. You have to do this in a... Um, Excuse me. You have to do this in a, a professional setting 
let's say everybody's working on coding something different in your group. I'm coding maybe the front part of the website. And then my partner over here that I work with is coding the back end. So we're going to have to put them together. So you use this so that I can do my part and then they can push their part and make it all together. So it's kind of like a tree and I'm one of the branches and my partner is another branch, but we we put it all together as a whole on GitHub. So, okay. Um, let's see, make a commit. So we're going to go get commit. Ooh. Okay, what I forgot to do, you guys, is write a comment. Usually when you commit, you say something like, I'm uploading three new files or something like that. Um, if you put a, a number sign in the middle of it, it'll be ignored so that, you know, you don't have any notes. This is just what you're committing to. So, um, but let me say this, let me say new files, new files. Oh, uploaded. Okay, and then we're going to do control O, enter, control X. Okay, look at that. It says view your git commit log. If your cursor is stuck in git mode, press Q on your keyboard to escape. Okay, so I think how we do commit log is commit, I mean, no, git log. Let's see. Let's, you uh, know, yeah, look at that. Author Code Academy, Code Academy user, March the 25th. And it, you see how it has new files uploaded, the same comment that I put on that message. All right, so that one's done. Include this line in disclaimer.txt warning for best battery life, do not leave robot battery charging overnight. Hmm, now this one I'm not too sure about. Hold on. Okay, so this one is actually very easy. So we're already in disclaimer.txt because this is the file that is opened right now. If you look up at the top, it says disclaimer.txt and they want us to add a warning for the best. I actually don't like copying and pasting. I love to type. So I'm just gonna write, type this out. <laughs> don't mind me. I actually take like typing tests sometimes. I'm such a nerd because I like to type. Okay, so we're gonna save that um, and then add the file to the staging area. So we're gonna do git add disclaimer text. Okay. So then now we're going to make a commit, git commit. And what we can say for this message, you do M. This message is going to say um, added warning to HTML. Enter. OK. View your git commit log again to identify your comment. Git log. Yes. Revise each file. Okay, wait, hold on. Let's see. Revise each file in whatever ways you'd like, then add your changes to your staging area to make another commit. Okay, so let's just add something else here. 
Monique is the best in the West. Okay, because I'm on the West Coast, you know, I'm living in California. I'm going to revise each file in whatever ways you like, then add your changes to the staging area and add and add and make another commit. So we're going to do git add and do disclaimer text again. And then we're going to say git commit message is Monique's the best. That's what we added, right? So then we're going to do git log. Yeah. So we did it, you guys. This is the end of this um, little lesson here. I hope you enjoyed that. This was just showing us how to change files within your... Um, this will be your... Terminal. Terminal. So... When you type these things inside of your terminal, and I'll show you when we go to Visual Studio Code, um, this is just kind of what it looks like on Code Academy, but it's really going to show you the same situation. And what I like about Code Academy, especially the pro, you do have to pay for this one, but it helps you to do it on your own computer so that you do it in real life so you, you know that this is going to work outside of this training environment. So very helpful. I hope you guys learned something. What we did was just added some changes to our text so that we can commit these changes to get ready to push it up to the GitHub uh, file. So um, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.